you're an agent, you're like, man, I want to do it. I want to be successful. Then do what I'm about to tell you, and I guarantee you, you will be. Okay, I want to talk about a few things. Not only do I want to talk about mediocrity, I want to also talk about mindset, and I want to talk about goals. And if and when you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a two-week challenge that you're going to love. Okay, so first let's talk about mediocrity. If you looked up, if you look up what mediocre means, guess what? It means average. It means average. No one was put on this earth to be average. No one thinks that they naturally want to be average, right? But if you think about it, most people are mediocre in their in their life, in their workout. That's, that's more their health and also in their business. Most people don't ever go the extra mile. They just kind of like float through because it's comfortable to just barely do enough. Okay, so if we think about mediocrity. Okay, now let's move, let, let, let's, let's move to the uh, mindset piece. Okay, so, so for me, for me, I want to have a healthy mindset. Something that's I'm mentally tough. I'm strong. I can, I can do anything. I can get outside of my comfort zone on purpose, right? I can conquer fears. I can do all these other things, okay? Most insurance agents, this is the one thing they struggle with, okay? Because you want to be successful, it's right here, right? Which is what moves me to goals, which is why I have goals. Because I want goals that are so big that it forces me for in my mindset to improve and to go up. Okay, it's it it's 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 it goes back to goals, right? So for for example, I feel like even though I maybe I'm not from time to time, I feel like in my life I get mediocre from time to time, especially when my, in my workouts or you or you get complacent, right? You get in the same rut where you do the same thing over and over and over again. Instead, I wanted to get to where. I was doing something big, right? So if I think about over the last decade in this business and things that helped me become a better insurance agent, right? I set a goal to make 100K, goes back to goals. My first year, right? After that, um, you know, built a call center to where we were doing close to 100 apps a month, okay? Um, after that, you know, hey, yeah, built a YouTube channel with over 20,000 subscribers. Built the 8% Nation Conference, right? To where it's, it's, it's becoming more of a household name in the industry, right? And we've had, we've had, we had, 3,000 agents on our virtual event back in April, right? So there's these, and literally just got done running a half marathon simply because I did, I did, I wanted to put myself outside of my comfort zone. People thought it was nuts. So I'm like, dude, I got to challenge myself to do something like that. Why? Because I don't want to be mediocre. But if we, but, but if we don't realize that in, in our business, we are just floating through, we're doing the minimum we're doing the average and we're just doing okay before you know it, an entire year's gonna pass and you didn't step out and do anything big. You were okay, you were average, you floated through and guess what? It, it, the year kinda, you know, the year kinda sucked because you did just enough to get by. Once you get to where you want to do things that challenge you and you don't want to be mediocre and you push yourself past that point, then you start to increase your mindset, right? Once you start to increase your mindset, you can do anything. Like you can force yourself. Like when I was running that half marathon, I, I'm, I'm like, uh, when I was running it, I was thinking everybody, everyone told me for your first half marathon, if, if you're not used to running long distance at all, and I haven't, I haven't run I had, previously, before this month, I had not run a mile, more than a mile, in like eight years, you know? So everybody's like, dude, there's no way for you to run this thing in, in under two hours, sub two hours, 13.1 miles, dude, it's impossible, right? So the whole time, I'm watching my time. I'm averaging nine minutes a mile, okay? And I'm, and I'm thinking like the first mile, I was like 8.55. Okay, the next mile, it was like a little bit, I think it was a little better, right? Then it was a little worse. And then I got to where the middle, it was all over nine minutes. It wasn't good, man. I got to where I was up to 940 a mile at one point. I'm thinking, gosh, dang it. I kept trending up to where my average was now at 905 a mile. It was a moment where I can just be comfortable and get through the race and not beat my goal time of two hours. 
I kicked it in high gear. My last four miles that I ran were faster than my first one and ended up finishing it in an hour, 57 minutes, right? Just barely in front of it. Why? Because I got out of my, I got out of my comfort zone. I didn't want to be mediocre. I, 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 I let my mindset take over and force me to deliver and freaking do this. And guess what? I ended up hitting one of my goals. That's the big thing that most people don't realize is, but you've got to put yourself outside of your comfort zone so that you can have and strengthen an unbelievable mindset so that you can end up accomplishing whatever goals that you want in life. Okay. Now, most people, it's cool to be comfortable. It's cool to, you know, it, 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 you don't really want to conquer your fears. You want to just be, you want, you want to, you know, I, I, I want to, dude, I want to go to bed late. I want to sleep in. I want to play video games. I want to, you know what I mean? I like, I, 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 I just, I don't want to work that hard throughout the day. I, you know, I, I don't want to like stretch myself. I don't want to get in better shape. You know, I, I just, I just, you know, I just want to make an okay, you know, living and I, and I just want to have an okay life. And before you know it, it's like, dude, I, I'm, I'm operating in this place of mediocrity and, 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 I've had those moments in life where it freaking bothered me, you know, like we have a lot going on now, but I feel like I'm getting complacent. I'm not pushing myself enough. I don't have those new challenges to wake me the freak up. And that's what people need. That's what people need to really like grow this thing. You know what I mean? And, and, and to really get outside of that comfort zone and to get to where you can have an unbelievable mindset because insurance agents struggle with this piece. Right? The only reason why the average insurance agent actually sits down with zero to three people per week is because they don't put forth enough activity. Well, why would they not put forth enough, en enough activity? Because their mindset's freaking broke and they won't put in the work because they don't feel like doing it because it's, it's outside of their comfort zone, right? It all comes back to this. 92% of insurance agents fail if they, but, but, but they only fail because of the stuff, but right here between the, but, but literally between the ears, that's it. If, if, if they will get to where they will do whatever it takes to actually sit down and ask 10 people to buy every single week, they will end up being successful and they won't struggle with this whole mindset piece. But most of us struggle with the mindset piece because we've never, been challenged. We've never put ourselves outside of our comfort zone. We've never forced ourselves to operate outside of a place of fear. And guess what? Then we end up becoming mediocre as an insurance agent because we don't force ourselves, propel ourselves, push ourselves to do things that we do not want to do. There's a lot of people in, in, in our world right now that are saying, dude, only do stuff you want to do. You don't have to do stuff you don't want to do, right? In this industry as insurance agent, it's the hardest career on planet freaking earth. 92% of people fail. It is the hard in their first few years, by the way, it's the hardest career in the world, but there are more millionaires in this industry than any other industry on planet earth. It should be the most rewarding if it's most difficult, right? But because it's the most difficult, a lot of insurance agents, fail because they have a mediocre mindset. And at the end of the day, if you are going to change your business, your life, become an unbelievable insurance agent, make a ton of money, help your family, retire wealthy, everything else, and help, and help a lot of people along the way, you're going to have to get outside your comfort zone, operate in a place of fear, do stuff you don't want to do. You have to force yourself to do freaking crap that you don't want to do, right? Do you think I wanted to go knock on 175 doors on a Friday? or a Saturday when I was 20 years old? Absolutely not. Sounds horrible. Do you think I wanted to go and, and cold call for four or five hours on a Sunday while my friends are freaking taking a nap? <laughs> no, but am I glad that I put in the work and did those things now? And that I'm consistently trying to do stuff to put me outside of my comfort zone and to challenge me? Yes. Okay, so here's the bonus. I just gave, I'm coaching a, 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 a client um, that's trying to grow his, 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 his call center, phone sales. I gave him a two week challenge. I said, either you do something in the next two weeks that you view as insane, super challenging, and crazy difficult, 
either you personally for because because he, he's 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 operating in a place of mediocrity. His mindset is not where it needs to be. I told him either you do something insane, insanely difficult that will challenge you like nothing ever has in the next two weeks, or we are, or I am done working with you. So I, my challenge to you is to do the exact same thing. If you don't want to be mediocre, if you want to have be strong mentally, be mentally tough and have a phenomenal freaking mindset, and if you want to be a part of the 8% instead of the 92, then my challenge to you is to the same thing. I don't care if you got to go, if you got to, you know, work, do some crazy workout, make a crazy amount of calls, or have a crazy massive week, whatever it is, force yourself to do something you don't want to do that's insanely challenging and difficult that will make you mentally tough and do it in the next two weeks. All right, now they got the mindset, right? You don't want to be mediocre, you're ready. You're like, dude, I, but I'm struggling with people showing up for appointments. I'm gonna fix that right now. There's a video, how to increase your show ratio. Click on it, see you in there. All right, so you want to increase your show ratio. Who doesn't want to increase your show ratio? Because if you do, guess what? You sit with more people and you end up making more sales. Okay, so here's.